When the Space Needle was built, selfies weren't even a thing. Fast forward 60 years and just about everyone makes sure to grab one before they leave. But do you really know what went into building that iconic structure in the background of your next social media post? He now comes back with the grandkids, but at just 24 years old, Gary Curtis was an engineer on John Manassian's team designing the Space Needle. Combing through the original blueprints. This is an interesting drawing here. The finest of details flooding Curtis's mind all these decades later. Utilities of air conditioning and that sort of stuff is in this level. The kitchen was in this middle level. Up and ready for the World's Fair opening day in just 13 months, renovations 50 years later took about six years to complete. A different time and approval process. The new vision, crystal clear, featuring the world's first revolving glass floor. You can see the elevators coming up. You can see the legs splaying out below you. You can understand the building in a way you just couldn't before. Space Needle Renovation Project architect Blair Payson with Olsen Kundig reflects on the team's creation. Yeah, I think if you ask anyone on the team, everyone's going to say this is the hardest, most challenging, most complicated project we've ever worked on. But then you really quickly say, like, it's the greatest project. I mean, what an opportunity. Payson calls the original Space Needle concept and design audacious. Members of that 1960s team, both humble and passionate about the project. You know, but uh, we didn't know it was going to be the icon of Seattle. <laughs> Every picture you see about Seattle has got the Space Needle in it. And somebody was saying to me, now, isn't this exciting, seeing this project that you worked on? And I said, no, the real excitement was doing the design in the office, going to work every day. Now, every day, decades of work allows millions of people to experience what started as a dream, a landmark of Seattle rising. Farah Jadrin, King 5 News.